All right, so, hey, y'all. This is uh, 2010's movie tier list shit. Uh, I decided to do it because, I don't know, I felt like it. There's a pretty good, there's a pretty decent array of different movies here, as you can see. Um, it's a pretty decent array. Oh, boy. I'm probably going to piss some people off. I don't really care. Um... Civil War, uh, I, yeah, uh, uh, enjoyable, it's one of the better MCU films, but at the same time, it's not going in these top two or below, I mean, the characterization is pretty decent for everything we have before, the writing is honestly god tier compared to recent Marvel shit, and overall, it's like, one of my favorite Marvel movies in general. But they're pretty much all just schlocky fun, so it's not like it's going in my amazing favorites tier. I'm not changing these at all. I mean, they're fine as they are. Um, John Wick. Eh, mm, no, no, that's, that's too harsh. It's going in enjoyable. I don't know, man. The action's really good. The character, not so much. I don't really like John Kira as a character, but the film was great, like, seeing him be a villain as himself, but yeah, whatever. And I'm not gonna elaborate on that much, everyone didn't like it that much, honestly, it's just enjoyable. Uh, uh I can piss people off now, um, Inside Out's pretty meh. I remember seeing in the theaters when it came out, and, uh... I liked it back then, because I wasn't really that big of a film nerd back then, but now, like, meh. It's, it's not the best. It's, it's not. Okay, yeah, this is straight up bad. This is just straight up a bad movie. Frozen is straight up bad. Ugh, I do not like that film one tiny bit. Characterization, no. Writing, no. Twist villain, no. Just, no. Bad film. Oh, Inception. Of course, one of the most iconic film scores and just in general, but it's, it's average for me. Very average. Like, oh yeah, cool, it's a neat idea, but you do nothing with it. And, oh boy, it's like, oh cool, you inverted the sky a bit. That's so cool of you. Okay, Deadpool. That one, I thought about it a bit, and I'd have to say it's pretty, it's pretty meh. I don't really like, um, I don't really like fourth wall breaking humor that much, unless it's done well. And the entire conceit of this movie is just, oh, the main character is aware that he's in the movie, and blah blah blah. That can be used for some, seriously affecting horror but that's never gonna happen i highly doubt people are ever gonna use the fourth wall being a thing as horror i wish they would because that would be absolutely amazing but i doubt it's ever gonna happen so yeah it's meh 12 years a slave this movie um <sighs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, you're amazing. Uh, that's the first amazing, like, Jesus Christ. Uh, <sighs> the acting is amazing, the writing's amazing, uh, just not, I mean, I don't really, the historical accuracy of it's kind of sad, to be honest, because that shit is so recent, but... Yeah, it's an amazing film. It just is. Mm, Spider-Verse. Time to piss more people off, I guess. Um, it's it's enjoyable. Not amazing, not favorites, but it's it's decent. It's enjoyable. The the animation style is really cool. The characterization is really good. It's just eh. It's enjoyable. Not bad, not good, not amazing, but still. 
I can't tell if this is the first Guardians or the second Guardians, but, um, again, enjoyable. I'm not really ranking these in their, in their respective tiers about, but, um, I'm not doing that. But Guardians is basically just the typical MCU action schlock with a bit more, like, humor. And, eh. I honestly kind of credit this movie as starting the terrible trend of MCU movies needing to have shitty jokes every couple seconds, otherwise people won't like them. But yeah, it's a decent movie, well, except the villain, so actually, yeah, you're going down to average. Um, the villain knocks it down a peg. <laughs> Makes sense, actually. Um, John Wick 2. Considering I didn't really like the first one that much, I mean, it's enjoyable, but eh, I, I didn't see it, because I'm not, I'm not planning to either. Logan. Ah, yes. Now, this is the only, this is the only good X-Men movie that I have seen, so. Oh, no, 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 you're, you're, you're going, you're going on amazing. You're definitely not favorites, though. This is how, this is how you do a mature superhero story. It's really fucking good. The characters are just really well done. I don't really I haven't seen any other any of the other um, X Men movies except Apocalypse, and that one's terrible. Um, just Apocalypse is so fucking bad. But um, yeah, Logan, writing's great. The emotions are great. Like, oh man, I mean, it's basically. It's a better version of The Last of Us 2, is the way I would put it. It's more affecting, it's more well-written. It's everything The Last of Us 2 could have been, but fails to be. Oh my god, would that dog shut the fuck up already? Um, Moana. You're straight up bad. I do not like Moana at all. Like, ooh, cool, it's about the Polynesian shit and Lin, Lin Manuel, whatever the... Lin, whatever his name is, was involved with it. Oh boy, so special. So happy about that. Um, yeah, I don't like it at all. As I said, I'm gonna piss some people off. Uh, Drive is amazing. It really is. It's a good movie. My character's a great character, main character in particular. Like, I just like him a lot. It's not like a, ooh, literally me, because I fucking hate that trend, and people that genuinely base their personality around movie characters need to get fucking help. But, um, yeah, it was a good movie. I liked it. Um, The Martian. Uh, average. Pretty average film. Like, cool, it's a nice adaptation of the novel, I guess, but... I also I saw that one in theaters, and... Like, um, it was a, me and my dad, we went to see it, and yeah, I liked it in theaters, and I like it now, but it's pretty average. Um, whew, after this one, we're getting to some, <laughs> we're getting to some spicy takes after this one. Um, Lego Movie, fucking first favorites, like, it is so, it's one of my favorite childhood nostalgia movies, even though I, that came out in 2010, didn't it? I think they came out in 2010. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't care. All I know is it's a really good movie and I like it a lot. And it just, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, uh, <laughs> whew. <laughs> Thor Ragnarok. I want to eviscerate you with my fingernails and teeth. You are a terrible movie. You are what officially kickstarted the every MCU movie has to have terrible humor in it, Trend. You're just fucking terrible. You're a terrible movie. Comedy isn't good. CGI is absolutely awful. The writing is atrocious. The characters are just ruined. And you know, for some people, this is like a, the first good Thor movie when pretty much all the Thor movies were just bad in general. Yeah, you're fucking terrible. Um, ooh, Rick and Ralph. I remember seeing this in theaters as well. <laughs> I would have to say it's enjoyable. Um, message is great. The characters are great. It's just the, the ideas of me. I like the idea a lot. Um, uh, it's it's enjoyable. 
Oh boy. Oh, oh, Rise of Skywalker. Ugh. You're, oh man, bad, bad doesn't even cover my feelings towards this movie. Bad doesn't even cover it. This movie should never have been made. After Last Jedi, with such with such an abysmal fucking movie that was, this should never have been made. And I, re I remember thinking, there is no fucking way they can fuck this up more than they have. And lo and behold, they did it. They fucked it up more than they had. And I mean, you have great EFAT memes because of it, but still, terrible, terrible movie, completely destroyed any goodwill I had left for Star Wars. So yeah. Just, oh my god, it's bad. Oh, Birdman. Oh yeah, Birdman. This one is definitely one of my favorites. That one's amazing. Oh man, that one's good. Um, just watch it. I'm not gonna elaborate on it at all. Just fucking watch it. It's great. Um, Despicable Me. Ah, uh, I, 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 Meh. <laughs> it's pretty meh. Iron Man 3. Um, yeah, you're bad. You're... You're terrible. You're terrible. You're just terrible. I don't even know if I have to describe why, but, you know, whatever. Um, Cars 2. You're also terrible. You're just... Honestly, all of the car Cars movies would be in either meh or bad. The third one would be in meh, but the first, uh, first and second would be in there. Like, oh my god, they're bad movies. I have not seen this one. Because, honestly, I don't want to. And, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, Avengers. The first Avengers movie. Well, you're going to enjoyable. Because... Yeah, all of the good MCU films are just enjoyable. Um, um, yeah. Some of them are a bit better, but none of them are amazing. Nah. I mean, yeah. Uh, okay, Jurassic World. You're bad. You're terrible. You're a terrible film. That is a terrible film. Absolute trash heap. Never should have been made. Never should have been made. Period. Um, <laughs> oh, I wonder, I wonder how many people I'm going to piss off with this. I don't give a shit. Like, these are my movie opinions. If you don't like them, you can suck a dick. That's all I got to say. Um, Toy Story 3. Uh, I, this one came out in 2010, I'm pretty sure. I don't even remember. I don't remember, but, um, pretty average. Like, obviously, uh, being a 2002 kid, I wasn't really in the age range for that movie to be effective and not to be, like, as affecting as it was for some people. Mainly 90s kids. <laughs> you know, um, it's, it's decent, I guess. It's just, eh. Okay, finally, we get to another favorite. Hereditary is absolutely horrifying in every way, shape, and form. The plot, like... The cinematography really amps up the horror. The acting is top tier from pretty much everyone, but Tony Collette steals the fucking show. I mean, Alex Wolf is the... I, I think that's his name. Alex Wolf, I don't know. But yeah, the, the, the son. Son, dude. He's amazing as well. Like, holy shit, he's great. The scares, just wow. Just wow. And the plot as well. When you rewatch it, like I did in October... It just gets so much more frightening and dreadful because you realize that they've been destined for this. Oh man, it's so good. Just watch it. <sighs> Ooh, the social network. Again. Again, another favorite. Oh my god, that movie's good. It's probably fin Fincher's best work, period. I, I genuinely believe that. Although he's a pretty good director in general, so any of his films could be an amazing and my favorites. But yeah, <laughs> um, The Revenant, ooh yeah, uh, DiCaprio film, uh, I think, I'm probably getting that wrong, but yeah, it's an amazing film. It's just, man, like it a lot. 
yeah, you're bad. You're a terrible movie. Us is really, really bad. It's basically just, ooh, let's, let's do an exploitation film, but make it woke, essentially. And the writing's terrible. The characters are terrible. The concept could have been could have actually been pretty good but it was used to terrible effect uh yeah just bad john wick 3 haven't seen because again i didn't i didn't really have the same reaction to john wick as i did everyone else apparently um uh big hero 6 um i it's average it's okay it's decent it's not the best not the worst but yeah Mmm, Incredibles 2. For, like, one of my favorite childhood movies, for it to have a sequel, it's terrible. It's just terrible. It's a bad movie in general, even even outside of nostalgic feelings or the original. Um, oh, Hunger Games. Uh, now, this is where... Um, I'm start, I, I have to wonder what, they, what they're, like, meaning by this. Because there's four of these movies, and there's... Do these? Do they just mean, like, the entire... Well, obviously not, because what, what, whatever. I'll, I'm just going to go by... Considering these all came out in the same, like, decade. I'm just going to have to go and rate them. But, like, the first movie... The first movie, uh, it's... I like it, it's enjoyable. However, um... Catching Fire is my favorite out of all of them. <laughs> Just, yeah. Uh, Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 2, I think this is. This is, like, o this is one of the only Harry Potter films I would say is genuinely really good. Like, the rest are all, like, really are good, but subjectively. This one, I would say, is actually good in terms of the film, the filmmaking and the crafting and everything, yeah. I honestly really like this one. Um, my favorite in the series is still the sixth book and the sixth movie, but whatever. But yeah, it's definitely amazing. Not even going to touch on Raleigh, though. Not going to touch on her. Um, I haven't seen Isle of Dogs. I should get on that. Because, <laughs> yeah, Wes Anderson, I like his stuff. Um, anyway. How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, I remember say I I don't really remember seeing this in the theaters, but I remember seeing the second one in the theaters. And yeah. That was when we were moving down to Georgia, actually, when the second one came out. And we stopped at the theater that was nearby the campsite we were at. Yeah, I really like this is like one of my favorite childhood movies. Cause they they, they each came out in a different period. It was it's funny. This one came out as a little kid. This the second one came out when we were moving to Georgia. I would have been like eleven or twelve, I think. And then the last one came out was like 17. So yeah, that's a really great trilogy in general. Honestly, all of them are potential favorites tier, but yeah, the first one's definitely one of my favorites. Whew. Ooh, boy, this one. A lot of people seem to like The Quiet Place, and I don't even understand why. I really don't. It's bad. It's bad, 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 bad. Bad, 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 bad movie. Like, yeah, there's some, like, interesting, interesting, like, scares, but, and the idea is cool, but, like, it's utilized so poorly, and the characters just, they're so dumb, and they don't, it, ugh, man, I just don't like it. Not a good movie. Uh, Mission Impossible, haven't seen any of them. Haven't seen any of them. Wolf of Wall Street, also haven't seen. Um, it's 2017. A lot of people seem to like this one for some reason. I'm not of that. I'm I'm putting it in average. Like, yeah, cool. It's a Stephen King adaptation, as if we don't have enough of those. Ugh. Really just not a big fan of Stephen King anymore. Um, I used to be, but I moved on from his work. Oh, uh, yeah. And then I realized how big of a fucking just mentally brainwashed person he is in terms of politics and that made my opinion of him drop even further so yeah i just don't like don't like this movie the scares aren't that good bill skarsgård is pennywise just why did they go with that outfit and that design for him whatever Ooh, infinity war this is like one of the own this is one of the only 
it's one of the only um marvel movies i will say is genuinely amazing it's just the culmination of a decade of shit and it's actually really good like the ending is so impactful for a reason it's because they succeeded in getting you attached to all these different characters and yeah it's just good it's it's amazing as i said oh man oh man um Dunkirk. Uh, this one's really Scott, I think. Uh, I might be wrong. Or is it Nolan? I think it might be Nolan. But yeah, it's 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 amazing. The the just the immediacy of it, and the fact that it doesn't even feel like a movie at times. It, it's just oh, it's so good. Oh, Knives Out, the movie that if you don't like, you're a dumb idiot that doesn't understand art. Yeah, this is a very bad movie. I don't like it at all. It's. Nah. The mystery isn't even a mystery. What Ryan Johnson, once again, proves that he does not understand how to direct film. Or write film, for that matter. Which makes it even... It's really sad, considering Ozymandias is one of the best episodes of Breaking Bad, and yet he dropped in quality so hard. Probably because he didn't write that episode, I don't think. I mean, maybe he did, I don't remember. I think he just directed it, though. Just, no. Interstellar. Oh, man. I think I saw this in the theater with Dad, but I don't really remember anything of the theater experience. But it's definitely... Definitely amazing for me. It just is. It's just really good. Mm, yep. La La Land. I have not seen that, and I don't plan to. Captain America, the first Avenger. Oh, man. One of the first Marvel films that I ever saw. Man, I, I remember seeing that in the theater. And I remember vi vividly that when they, when, like, Red Skull first appeared without his face, it, like, j it scared me a lot. My little kid self, I was scared of that. But yeah, overall, um, Steve as a character in this movie is great. He's consistent. It's just, it's, it, oh, man. Back when Marvel was actually good. Ugh. Minions. Why is this on here? That's a terrible movie. Absolute terrible trash. Ooh, a Tarantino film. Okay, here we go. Um, The Hateful Eight is definitely one of my favorites. It all it like the majority of it just takes place in one location and the and the slow build of everything that happens. Just Tarantino is so fucking good at writing. I think it's Tarantino, right? Yeah, it's it's him. But like, he's so good at writing these tense, suspenseful things that it's. Ugh. It got like I like this one so much that I actually watched the eight episode like extended version because I liked it that much. Um. Yeah, uh, Looper. I think this is the one with dude that, like, is, like, supposed to kill his future self, but doesn't. And, well, tries to, but he gets away and stuff happens. Honestly, I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one, mate. I'd say it's enjoyable, but it's not the best. I had fun with it. The concept's cool. Time travel stories that actually effectively use the concept of time travel are very rare, and there's only really one I other there's only really one I can think of that I genuinely really enjoy. I don't remember the title of it though. It's like they, it's basically just a bunch of them trying to figure out how to even use the time machine, and I don't remember the title very well, but I remember I liked it a lot. Oh, Endgame. The movie that took all of Infinity War's potential and threw it out the window. Just took all of the potential and was said, you know what, we don't need any of this. We're throwing it out the window. Absolute trash movie. Like, yeah, oh, so sad. Tony Stark's dead. Wow, I'm gonna cry in the theater because I'm so sad. Yeah, okay, that doesn't make a movie good. 
just because you had a strong emotion reaction to a movie doesn't make it good. Um, but yeah, um, I really don't like it. The writing's terrible, the plot makes no sense, the characters are absolutely ruined. Steve in particular is just... Holy shit, Steve is ruined so bad. Once upon a time in Hollywood, I have not seen that, and I don't plan to. It doesn't interest me in the slightest. Zootopia. Oh, man. I gotta put this one in favorites. Come on. I remember seeing this in Florida when we were, like, at this pool party thing, and they showed that movie there. And I, I'm genuinely positive that Nick is the reason I found out I was gay. <laughs> Which kind of makes it really funny that I... That I've been a free for almost five years this August. Like, yeah, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I, I like Zootopia a lot. 1917. This one is... It's enjoyable. I'll give it that. It's it's enjoyable. I like it. I like it a lot. It's just not my favorite war movie. Not at all. I don't, like, I don't really like any American war movies. Because America has a tendency to glamorize and Hollywoodize war in a way that just feels very on a, a, a just on a, just no, you don't do that. You don't do that. It, it's why I really prefer all of these movies that are like, you know what? Yeah, war is fucking horrifying, and we're not gonna shy away from showing you that just because you have a delicate stomach, you delicate Westerner, you. I love that shit. Because it makes sure that more and more people refuse to sign up for war. I mean, sure. Sure, you're still gonna... There, there's still a possibility of people getting drafted, but at the same time, the more people don't want to be in a war, better. The more people that don't want to get involved in deadly combat, the fucking better. So, yeah. Honestly, the military-industrial complex is just... Bleh, terrible. Absolute terrible. Um, Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, I actually haven't seen this, so I don't know why I scrolled up so far. Pacific Rim. Haven't seen it. Not planning to. It looks terrible. Oh, I didn't realize um, Last Jedi was on here as well. Hmm. I could literally go on for over five hours about how bad that movie is. I'm not even joking. I could go on for that long. Um, Kingsman the Secret Service. I remember, for some reason, my dad took, took me to see this in theaters. And it's R-rated. <laughs> with a lot of blood and cursing. And it's just... I mean, recently I rewatched it because I wanted to see if it was any good. And honestly, yeah, it's amazing. It's just a great spy film. It's a great spy film. It's a great action film. The scene in the church... With Freebird. That is the best... <laughs> that is the best action scene. I've seen in... Just... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's a good scene. That's... I mean, the entire movie is amazing. But, like, that scene in particular is the standout. Holy heck. Um, Star Wars The Last Jedi. You know what? I am making... I am making a tier... Specifically, no, add a row, add a row below. I need to add a row below, and this needs to go back to bad. Um, yeah, I'm just adding a row below this, and I'm changing, and I'm, and I'm changing, and I, oh man, it's going to be called, it's just going to be called The Last Jedi, because, no, um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's about right. That's what's gonna be. So yeah, um, you go there and you go there. Yep, yep. That's that's basically it. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh boy. Um, yeah. Oh my fucking god. The Force Awakens is here too. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you're also going there, buddy. You're not getting out. You're not getting out because you're the best of the three. 
Anyway, now that those are gone, because they don't deserve any talking about whatsoever, I can get on to, um, apparently Baby Driver. I haven't seen this film, I don't really plan to, it doesn't interest me at all. Um, Joker. Oh yes, the 2019 Joker, you get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> oh yeah, that shit. Um, I'd say it's an enjoyable watch, it's not amazing or anything, but I like it a lot. You know, it's... You get Joaquin Phoenix is amazing. He's an amazing actor. Uh, what the fuck? Is, oh, this is Rogue One. I haven't seen you. I don't really want to, considering I hate Star Wars now. So you know. Um, Coco. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're enjoyable. You're an enjoyable film. Yeah. I like it a lot. The world, the world building's cool. The animation's really great. The story's cool. The message's great. All that crap. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, haven't seen it, um, Django, another, Django Unchained, another Tarantino film, you're definitely going in favorites at the other Tarantino film, I'm sorry, it's just, it's great, okay, all the actors, all the main, the, the, all the main actors are just great, Leo DiCaprio was the fucking racist meme guy, yeah, he's, he's like, so good in that role it's honestly crazy it's just a great movie it's a great movie i really like it tarantino's great edge of tomorrow i haven't seen you dark knight rises whatever this one is i haven't seen you either jojo rabbit haven't seen you um oh boy um yeah the Grand Budapest Hotel. This is a Wes Anderson film, and it's uh, it's it's one of my favorites. Honestly, uh, Wes Anderson in general. Is this Wes Anderson? I think it is. Yeah. Am I right about that? I don't even know. But like, I just love this movie. The style and everything is amazing. I just, everything about Anderson's filmmaking, I love. Okay, I don't know how else to describe it. It's just great. It's tasty. It's a yeah. Oh, Brave. Uh, I remember seeing you in the theater as well, kinda. Vaguely. You're pretty meh. Another meh. Interesting. Indeed. Very interesting. I'm noticing something here. The movie, the one section that has the most movies is I haven't seen. <laughs> interesting. Okay, uh, this is the first, this is the first one with Tom Holland in it. Uh, I gotta be honest, I just found it average, like, yeah, we did that. You get an average. Godzilla 2014. This one's, like, also average. Because you have a mi really mixed bag where it's like, oh, you have these human characters that no one gives a shit about. We just want to see the monsters duke it out. But when those, when they, when they do show them fighting, it is fucking glorious. It is amazing. Holy shit. But yeah, it's 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 staying it's staying an average. Um, whiplash, oh whiplash. Oh, I have to put you in favorites. You're so good. Oh, it's such a good film. I just J. Uh, what was what was the dude's name? The dude that plays J. Jonah Jameson and other character. I don't remember, but the dude that plays the villain in this is really good. It's a great movie. Okay, it's a good cool movie. It's a good cool movie. I have not seen you. 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 Um, I haven't seen Lady Bird either. So yeah. Um, Black Panther. This is like bottom of the barrel Marvel trash. Like, the entire appeal of the movie was, ooh, look, it's a black superhero. Are you so, You're so happy you were being woke, right? And even outside of that aspect, the writing is terrible, the character motivation makes no sense, the villain is absolutely atrocious. It's just a bad movie in general. It's just a bad movie in general. Arrival, um, directed by Denis Villeneuve. Um, I'd have to say it's an enjoyable watch. The concept's cool. It's... A decent adaptation of the story. I remember seeing this one in theaters as well, because I actually went to see it for my birthday. I remember that vividly. And, uh, yeah, I liked it. I still like it. It's enjoyable. Paris. Parasite. Oh, yeah, you're definitely a favorite.
that is a great movie. Bong Joon Ho, man, just watch it. That's all I gotta say. Just watch it. Get out. Um, I gotta be honest with you. I really didn't like this one. It's very meh. Very meh indeed. And that's it. That's it. Oh, if it's done. At least it's just complete. Here's some of my favorites. My amazing, enjoyable, Mavericks, mad, bad sequel trilogy, and haven't seen. Hope you enjoyed. I don't know, man. I hope you enjoyed. I probably didn't consider a lot of my takes were pretty controversial, but oh well, I don't give a shit. I'll see you later, fuckers. Bye bye.